Hello, this is Julie from CutterCrafter.com. Today on my blog, CutterCrafter.com, I posted a tutorial on how to make this project that I did for a wedding that I'm attending. I needed a gift and families usually enjoy these tiles. It's a 12 inch tile with a customized family name and date. So on my blog I give you the details about how to assemble the cut project. But right now I want to show you how to use a, the free Regal split monogram font in Cricut Design Space so that you can cut this design or customize a vinyl design in Cricut Design Space to make a project like this. I posted the free font in the library at CutterCrafter.com so you want to be sure to get that and download it and install it in your computer's fonts system fonts folder. Once it's installed it should show up in your Cutter software in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to show you what to do with it once you get to Design Space. So let's get started with that. First I'll go to Design Space <clears throat> and you see I've already done one here but I'll move it out of the way and show you how I did it. To get the letter monogram into your software is just the same as adding or using any other font in your software. So this is Cricut Design Space. I'm going to click, click on the T on the left toolbar and then the window add text here opens. So I'm going to select the capital letter of the font that I'd like to use and I'm going to use F here and once I type that it's selected now I want to choose the font and I only want that one letter right now the font that I want to use I select from the drop down window on the upper left toolbar under font and I'm going to go down to Regal and this all the fonts that are installed in your computer should show up in here and I previously installed the Regal split monogram font in my system folder fonts. And you just have to keep scrolling down if you have tons of fonts like I do. I'm going to just watch them go by till I get to the R's. Oh, we can search them up here at the top. So type in Regal Split. And I see it here, Regal Split Monogram. So I'm going to just click on that. And that changed the F that I typed into this same font that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is resize this. Right now the size is one inch, but I'm going to type in for the width, I'm going to type in 10 and press enter. And it automatically resizes to 10 inches. And I'll just put it up here about in the corner. Doesn't really matter. And this is what it's going to look like when I'm done. The next thing I want to do is add a text in the middle between the space where the split is. And I want to use a font that is similar in shape to this. Now I used um, a Caslon font, but you can use anything that you like. It doesn't even have to be the same style, any font that you have. So again, I'm going to click the T and I'm going to type in what I want it to say. I'm going to use all caps. It's just easier to weed and 
keep everything together with capitals, but you can use lowercase letters if you want. So I'm going to type in Flanagan family. And you notice that it's using the same font that I, I just used, but I really need to have this be in a different font. So when I click on that down drop down, I see that I get the search Caslon BD BT. I'm going to use that font and it changes my text to that particular font. Now I can unlock the lock and drag these letters so that they fit in that slot or I can actually resize the um, width to 10 inches and enter. So it gave me a, a nice 10 inch width to match that space in there. And I'm going to zoom in because I really need to make sure that this text overlaps the dark lines in the center of the font. And then I'll just drag this down, still unlocked, so that the bottoms of the letters just barely overlap that bar on the bottom and the tops of the letters I want to make sure they are overlapping just barely at the tops on that bar. And once I have those in place, I'm going to type the rest of my design down below, T, and I'm going to type um, just a date, es established. E S T period and the date. June second, nineteen seventy three. So I have the date now, and it's in the same font as as the font I use in the center, and that's what I want. You could use whatever you want. And I'm just going to locate it near the bottom. I'm going to select everything, Control A, but I don't want all this. So let me kind of get rid of this over here. Then I can select all of this, Control A. And I want to make sure that it's aligned vertically. So actually it's horizontally so that the letters are all lined up evenly and then I'm just going to weld the top letters together because if I don't these are going to be all cut apart in a real mess so I'm going to go down to the lower right corner and type weld and I'm going to weld this one separately. And I weld it just to convert that text to paths. So now it's a picture rather than a font. Now I'm going to select it all, right click, and attach. That's going to make it so that when I go to make this file, that everything will stay in place. Now you notice that it's not centered on the page. It doesn't have to be because after it's cut you'll be able to lift this up with your transfer tape and place it where you want it to be on the tile. So, But you notice that the lettering all stayed where it belonged. That's because we attached the bottom part to the top and it's all staying aligned. If you want to you can uh, move it around after you get to this place. I, I like to keep it about a half inch from the top 
and an inch from the sides. That's kind of why I made it 10 inches. So we've got a space at the bottom and a space at the top. Might want to just so it's the same as it might appear on the finished tile. You can do it that way if you want. Then I use a 12 inch square transfer tape to lift it all up. But that's um, how I use this font in Cricut Design Space for cutting to the Explorer or to the Maker. Now I can save it and if I need to use it again I can use as is but what I like to do is use Control Z to undo a couple times maybe three times so that the center text is separate when I save it and that way I can save just the letter so next time I need an F I can type in a different name. If I leave it welded then I would have to redo it all the next time I want to use the F. So then I go to save, save as, and then give it a name. This will be unwelded, so I'll save it that way. So I hope this is helpful. You can use any letter in the free font. It's a free download. And use any of the uppercase letters to create your own custom design for a really special gift for somebody. Thanks for watching.